Here we go again for another episode of Chef Trent Gone Wild, a cooking videos and supper club. You can find us now on Facebook under that designation, Chef Trent Gone Wild. Today I'm going to make some pickled marinated octopus, something unusual. I made this before, 2010, and the, we made it for the Lonely Planet guy that was the uh, he was analyzing us and writing about us, and I think that's why we were our pick for Zombie Papa because he loved this pickled octopus so much. Here is the octopus. This is, get a get close in on this. That is 500 grams of octopus frozen. Let me tell you about cooking octopus. Do not overcook it, and I'm going to tell you how to cook it perfectly. Get five cups of water to a rolling boil dump the octopus thawed in there and turn it off put a lid on it and let it sit for one minute exactly not more not less than one minute take that drain it and run cold water on it and stop at the cooking process and put some cold water on it and get it stopped and then drain it and then put it into your jar this is a quart mason jar it's perfect size for pickled octopus for 500 grams Okay, we're going to save that over here. Now, this is the fun part. And this is actually the easy part. What we're going to do is we're going to take a tablespoon of coriander seeds, get a close up of that, and we're going to put it in this pan. And then we're going to take 12 cracked black peppercorns that I took the side, the blade of my knife, like this knife here and mashed on it until they cracked. And I'm going to heat those up in there. We're going to roll that around until it gets aromatic. Needs to be toasted. Coriander seeds are not worth a darn unless they're toasted. So don't even bother using it in anything unless it gets toasted. Okay, so won't take long. Got it on high heat. There it is. I'm going to smell it. Mmm, it's kind of starting to get aromatic. In the meantime, take a drink of wine. Okay, that way you can have fun while you're doing this. Watch this. Mmm, -hmm. yes, sir and ma'am. That's the way we do it, that's the way we roll. Okay, it needs to go a little bit longer. So, I want to remind you again about this octopus. If you overcook this stuff, it will taste like chewing gum. It'll be worse. So might as well cut rubber off your tires. Okay? One minute with boiling water. Take it out immediately. Drain it quickly. And put cold water on it. And put it in a little bath of cold water. Even to run cold water until it feels cool to the touch. And it will be perfect, I promise you. Needs a little more. It's still toastalating. I made that word up, by the way. For those of you who speak Spanish, don't start speaking English like I do in Texas and say toastalating and stuff like that, because that's not even a word. Okay, almost there. Over here, I'm going to show you what we have while that's cooking a little more. This is two cups of red wine vinegar. Good quality red wine vinegar. This is seven bay leaves. This is a hot pepper. Just one. It's not going to make it black over the edge picante, but it will add some flavor to it. And a tablespoon of oregano leaf dried. Okay? I'm going to crush it up a little bit even. That's all there is to that, to the marinade. Okay. It's toasted. It's getting perfect. I'm going to pour this in. Be careful because it might splatter. That was really amazing. And now we're going to put the bay leaves and we're going to put the pepper and we're going to put the oregano. Like that. And then we're going to mix this all around, shingalunga, like this. It's got to be boiling 
Is it boiling? Yes, it is. So we're going to turn that off. Put it over here. And we're going to let that sit and steep for one hour, okay? We're going to pause for an hour, and then I'll show you what to do next. And the next part is extremely important. Hello. We've been waiting one hour for this wine vinegar and seasonings to steep. Look at that. That's how it looks. Here is the octopus over here waiting. It's just sitting there waiting. What do octopus do? Octopussies or octopi. Octopussies if it's a James Bond movie. I got this new device to pour things. We're going to see how it works. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Let's pour it in over here. Yeah, I'm missing a little bit of it. But I've got it's going to fill it up. See that? Look at that. It's okay. filling it up. I'm going to have to get the seeds down in there, which I'm going to do with which I need to do. I'm making a mess. That's what I do. I, I love making messes. As my wife. Go to the other side. Yeah, Sorry. go to the other side so you can see me make a really screwy thing. Up. Okay, I'm going to put this in there. I'm going to put this in there. Okay, and I've got all these seasonings that I've got to get in there. But I've got to leave room for the olive oil on top. Get all that stuff down in there. Just like that. Okay. Look at that mess I made. Don't you love that? I'm going to wipe it up. My wife hates it when I use these towels to wipe up with, but I love to use them. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a spoon, and I'm going to move these octopus around down in there to make sure all the seasoning and stuff get all down in there. You see how that's actually dropping down? It's not as full as it was. You don't want the octopus up at the top if you can handle it, but it's all right if it is. I want to get all those good seasonings mixed in there. Let's see if I have any more. And I have a few more. I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. Yeah, that's all right. Now, this is a critical point when you're making pickled octopus, or actually it's marinated. When you make this, is this olive oil. Get that octopus down in there. Down inside. Okay, we're going to put olive oil. We're going to float olive oil on top. It's got to seal it with the olive oil. If any octopus gets up above the or into the olive oil, it's going to go rotten. What it keeps it from going rotten is this. See, I'm going to slowly pour that in there. That's what I love about this little lid. I'm going to fill it. I'm going to put the olive oil all the way. You see how it's sealing it? Yes, you do. It's sealing it all the way to the top with olive oil. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. That's what keeps it from going rotten. Now we're going to put the lid on. Use a very clean jar. Better if you boil it a little bit, but make sure you wash it in hot water and then it's really hot, okay? You see the octopus is not up above, let me open this up. It's not up into the olive oil, it's below it. And the olive oil is on top, you see it? Olive oil, see how that is? That's gonna seal it. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the back of the refrigerator. I don't want it in the door where every time I open the refrigerator it goes slosh, slosh, slosh. I don't want anything to move on that until I get ready to eat it. <clears throat> One week at least you need to wait. But don't get like that. Don't be impatient. The best way to eat it is about two months. Maybe three maximum. Don't, not more than three months. 
but two and a half months, even better. The longer it sits, the better. You take it out and you put it on some crusty French bread or garlic bread or something, and you eat it like that. And you drink it with ouzo, is good, or with limoncello. I'm going to have to take it over to my friend Tino Bullio, the famous French chef who makes his own limoncello. And we're going to have limoncello, and we're going to eat this octopus marinated on some crusty bread. And we're going to be just like we went to France or somewhere. And it's going to be spectacular. It's so good. And I really, really recommend you try this. It's not that hard. And if you want to impress your friends, make them some pickled octopus. We love you, especially those of you who are mean and show up on Facebook saying mean, ugly stuff. We especially love you. Hasta la cha-cha.